Good evening, thank you for joining me. We are on day 41 of reading the Bible in one year. I will be reading from Exodus 32 and 33, Psalm 41 and Matthew. I've done it different today, I've had a very complicated day trying to record it then print it didn't quite work out because the new app was not as good as my typing so I ended up typing it but I'll learn the new app it doesn't recognize my voice and the things it was writing were not what I was saying <laughs> My son had a computer that he could talk into, got his master's degree talking into it, but I, I'll have to ask him how he did it. So I had such failures. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn it because when I thought how much typing there is, it'll be easier to talk and then print it off and then read it. But none of it worked out the way I hoped, but I got a beautiful typed out version of words instead of Libra. I really don't like Libra which is on my computer. I've now got word on it with a talking thing. <laughs> Modern technology is beyond me. Anyway I'm going to read it and if anything's missing you have to blame what I was doing today but I think it's all there but it's not in the same format. It's, I've done it individually each one on its own instead of following on. <laughs> so the first reading today, day 41, is from Exodus 32, the golden calf and the renewal of the covenant. When the people saw that Moses was a long time before coming down the mountain, they gathered round Aaron and said to him, Get to work, make us a god to go at our head. For that Moses, the man who brought us here from Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Aaron replied, Strip off the gold rings in the ears of your wives and your sons and daughters and bring them to me. The people all stripped off the gold rings from their ears and brought them to Aaron. He received what they gave him, melted it down into a mould and with it made the statue of a calf. Israel, the people shouted, here is your God, who brought you here from Egypt. Observing this, Aaron built an altar before the statue and made this proclamation. Tomorrow will be a feast in Yahweh God's honour. Early next morning, they sacrificed burnt offerings and brought communion sacrifices. The people then sat down to eat and drink and afterwards got up to amuse themselves. Moses forewarned by Yahweh. Yahweh then said to Moses, go down at once for your people whom you brought here from Egypt have become corrupt. They have quickly left the way which I ordered them to follow. They have cast themselves a metal calf, worshipped it and offered sacrifice to it, shouting, Israel, here is your God, who brought you here from Egypt. Yahweh then said to Moses, I know these people. I know how obstinate they are. So leave me now. 
so that my anger can blaze at them and I can put an end to them. I shall make a great nation out of you instead. The prayer of Moses. Moses tried to pacify Yahweh, his God. Yahweh, he said, why should your anger blaze at your people whom you have brought out of Egypt by your great power and mighty hand? Why? Why should the Egyptians say he brought them out with evil intention to slaughter them in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth? Give up your burning wrath. Relent over this disaster intended for your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, to whom you swore by your very self and made this promise. I shall make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven, and this whole country of which I have spoken I shall give to your descendants, and it will be their heritage forever. Yahweh then relented over the disaster which he had intended to inflict on his people. Moses breaks the tablets and the law of the law, sorry. Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hands tablets inscribed on both sides, inscribed on the front and on the back. The tablets were the work of God and the writing on them was God's writing engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, there is the sound of battle in the camp. But he replied, No song of victory is this sound. No lament for defeat is sound. But answering choruses I hear. And there as he approached the camp, he saw the calf and the groups dancing. Moses blazed with anger. He threw down the tablets he was holding, shattering them at the foot of the mountain. He seized the calf they had made and burned it, grinding it into powder which he scattered on the water and made the Israelites drink it. Moses then said to Aaron, What have these people done to you for you to have brought so great a sin on them? Aaron replied, My Lord should not be so angry. You yourself know what a bad state these people are in. They said to me, Make us a god to go at our head, for that Moses, the man who brought us here from Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. I then said to them, Anyone with gold, strip it off. They gave it to me. I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. The zeal of the Levites. When Moses saw that the people were out of hand, for Aaron had let them get out of hand through the derision of their enemies all round them, Moses then stood at the gate of the camp and shouted, Who is for Yahweh? To me! And all the Levites rallied round him. He said to them, Yahweh God of Israel says this, Buckle on your sword, each of you, 
and go up and down the camp from gate to gate, every man of you slaughtering brother, friend and neighbour. The Levites did as Moses said, and of the people about three thousand men perished that day. Today, Moses said, you have consecrated yourselves to Yahweh God, one at the cost of his son, another his brother, and so he bestows a blessing on you today. Moses prays again. On the following day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a great sin, but now I shall go to Yahweh God. Perhaps I can secure expiation for your sin. Moses then went back to Yahweh God and said, Oh, this people has committed a great sin by making themselves a god of gold. And yet, if it pleased you to forgive their sin, if not, please blot me out of the book you have written. Yahweh God said to Moses, Those who have sinned against me are the ones I shall block out of my book. So now go and lead the people to the place I promised to you. My angel will indeed go at your head, but on the day of punishment I shall punish them for their sin. And Yahweh punished the people for having made the calf, the one Aaron had made. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Exodus 33. The Israelites ordered to depart. Yahweh God then said to Moses, Leave, move on from here, you and the people whom you have brought here from Egypt to the country that I swore to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, that I would give their descendants. I shall send an angel in front of you and drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites. Move on towards a country <coughs> excuse me, flowing with milk and honey, but I myself shall not be going with you or I might annihilate you on the way, for you are an obstinate people. On hearing these stern words, the people went into mourning, and no one wore his ornaments. Yahweh God said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You are an obstinate people. If I were to go with you, even for a moment I should annihilate you. So now take off your ornaments and then I shall decide how to deal with you. So from Mount Horeb onwards the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments. Excuse me, Let's take a sip of drink. I have a phlegm on my chest and <coughs> it's giving me, <coughs> it's stuck, the tent. Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far away from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. Anyone who wanted to consult Yahweh God would go out to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, the people would all stand up and every man would stand at the door of his tent and watch Moses until he went into the tent. And whenever Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud 
could come down and station itself at the entrance to the tent while Yahweh God spoke with Moses. People could all see the pillar of cloud stationed at the entrance to the tent and the people would all stand up and bow low each at the door of his tent. Yahweh would talk with Moses 